This episode of Hack 5 is brought to you by Domain.com. Hello and welcome to Hack 5. I'm Darren Kitchen. I'm Shannon Morse. I'm super excited about your weekly dose of Technolist this week because guess where we are? I'll give you a hint. There's no bricks. Where's the bricks? Techzilla stole them. Oh man, those jerks. <laughs> nah, they stole them years ago. <laughs> Before we got the real ones That's in the That's true, firehouse. back in 2007? Yeah. Six? Yeah. Something like that. So we're gonna have to, we've got windows now, so we're we gonna do. have to maybe do some treatment like we did. What do you guys think we should do? Oh, yes, I like hmm. this. In fact, yeah. I have to which, which uh, give mad props set? to Paul, three, two, one, beep, uh, so that he can, <laughs> check this out, right? Paul set up an entire makeshift studio in like what? Three hours, four hours? This is amazing. I've just, Paul, sorry, I just left the set and now I'm walking around. Four hours. Uh, it's part of our old studio, but I already had the design in my head, so I can put it back together quicker. See, I love so that. I like when you make the Lego set, when you take it apart, you put it back together real quick. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it's like, it's pre-assembled. It's like prefab. It's like the Ikea of, of, uh, of studios. In fact, I... I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a slight tour because everybody has been asking bye about bye. it. And then I'll be back and then we're going to start the Technolus proper, but uh, I'm super stoked because check this out. We have a hallway with a janitor closet uh, and hello, no one's in there. Okay. Ladies room. I don't know. So uh, <laughs> otherwise, here we go. Super excited about this. This means we're going to be able to do some mega ridiculous huge projects still under construction just a little bit. That's a, sorry about the noise, it's a special wall that's going in. And uh, yeah, it's just, it's just massive. So uh, look forward to some massively huge projects. Now I can peek in on Shannon. Hey. Well, hey there. Hey, can I, can I get a beer? <laughs> Oops, cameras. Okay. Ha ha. See? It's like, it's like we're almost professional and stuff, Paul. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome, yes. Okay. <laughs> so, I'm very excited about some of the cool stuff that has been happening right up your alley. And I think Cause would be proud of this, because who ah, would have yes, ever envisioned? So. This week you've got a fantastic segment, don't you? I do. So um, this is taken from a guy's blog. His name is Dennis Mance, and he basically created this application called RF Analyzer. And his whole basis is trying to get the hacker RF to work with an Android phone via a COS cable and to be able to give you a like RF frequency that you can actually analyze and look at. Um, so far, it is in development, and it is open source, so you can go over to the GitHub and get the APK for your phone. And I just learned how to put APKs on my phone. It's not too hard. Yeah, it's not hard. you can compile hard. it from source if you'd like, if you're into the Android dev scene. That's yes. pretty cool stuff, too. It's pretty cool, because all you have to do is um, like l open up the APK from the GitHub, uh, on your phone and then click on the little binary file, click OK to download, and it'll just install like any other Google Play app and then automatically you have another application on your phone. And we it's advise you simple. to just go, you know, Google APKs and just go to random websites.rus and stuff and just download any APK you can and just install it, accept anything that it uh, says. No, we, that's not advice. We actually trust <laughs> this guy. Um, we, we trust Mike Osman yes. and we are super stoked to see the Hack RF uh, library is ported over to Android because that's just going to open up a whole awesome can of It's arms. really, really exciting and so interesting. So if you want to check out the blog yourself, it's over at tech.mansit.com. And uh, it's, he basically just walks you through exactly what you can do with this application. Uh, you can do everything from just browsing the spectrum to going straight to a specific frequency. Uh, right now, you can't actually hear anything aud audible. 
So yeah, it's not doing demodulation. Yeah, it does say that he yet. wants to do FM, AM, SSB, and a few other modulation types. That's gonna be so awesome. So that'd be cool. Yay! I'm so excited for that. And he's also mentioning that you can. He's planning to do a lot of other further things as well. So let me go ahead and open the program for you. So once you actually get it onto your phone, it'll just show up like a regular app. In right, your and list. you're using the HackRF prototype from the yes. Kickstarter, but, but this will work the with the one. So out of the box guy. I should mention. Anytime you're using the COS cable with the HackerF, you want to make sure that the phone you're using will actually be able to power the HackerF with it. Yeah, this is actually really impressive. You can tell from these LEDs at the top that the entire HackerF system is being powered off of none other than off of your my Nexus. Phone. How crazy is that? And it'll last for about two hours before it dies, yeah, well, which is kind of sad. It's a bit power hungry. We could it put is a, a little power hungry. If we wanted, hungry. we could put a port pilot on here and know exactly what the, the draw <laughs> is and whatnot. But you can do essentially the same thing with just a micro USB cable yeah. and an OTG adapter. Yes. But the COS cable makes it simple in just one. Nice it makes little, it nice and pretty. You can do so. a nice little backpack. Kind Thank of you, like COS, a, for the awesome idea. Kind of like Jared's, um, Jared Boone's uh, Porta Pack. Oh, kind yeah. Of. OK, so when you first open the up, up the application, it doesn't show you anything. It's just black. So hit play. And then it will say, allow the RFN or Lizer to access the USB device. So access the actual hacker F. You hit OK. And then you'll start seeing your spectrum up here in the waterfall down here. Now, it's really, really yellow, so I want to turn down that gain. I just do that by moving the spectrum up here down to the bottom of the top graph. And then you'll notice that the waterfall changes, so it's not as high, high gain. And from here, you'll notice that I have a whole bunch of peaks. I can zoom into all these different peaks. And when I do that, they start to get a little bit iffy. Uh, you'll notice that the resolution of these gets really, really bad once I get too close. So there you go. So see how the resolution's terrible? I can double click, and it'll fix the frequencies to just this area for me on the HackRF. So it changes it straight on the HackRF for me. And it's probably cool. also good to mention that the HackRF has a fantastic bandwidth of like yes, it does. Know, 20 megahertz wide. So you could really pinch out so, and zoom. Yeah. If and I want to, I can pinch back out. Of spectrum. So I can go really, really far. Let's see. How far can I go? How far go. can you go? Well, and then okay. it, why are you double tapping? I double tap and that'll refix it to this new bandwidth. And it'll give me this new stretch of bandwidth as opposed to just that itty bitty bit. All right, and so to change the frequency. Yeah. So to change the frequency, I can double click on a specific area. I think that's right. Right, and then to scroll over, you'll notice it just ends. Yeah, it just ends. So you can double click and it'll recenter it on the middle of your screen. And I'll so you kind of have to keep down. retuning. So it's not you like do. you can you just continuously scroll. And I also want to mention that over here, you can change the actual frequency if you hit Hertz. So you can just type in whatever frequency you want to hit. And if you go under Set Gain, you can change the VGA gain as well as the LNA gain to whatever you propose. And under Settings, so this is kind of interesting. Right now, the source type is just HackerF, but he already has RTL SDR in here. However, it doesn't work quite yet. Not quite yet, but Not I'm, quite I'm yet. fond of the RTL SDR just because it's a great, inexpensive beginner's yeah. dabbling thing. And turns out you can do essentially the same thing with an OTG adapter. Yeah. Yeah. It'll be fun. And then the second one I wanted to mention was file source. So if you upload a file to this, you can run the file and under here, you can set that file to loop so you can complete the playback again and again if you wanted to, I don't know, analyze a certain file and just keep on playing it All right. for whatever reason. Record those number stations and play them back to your heart's content. Yeah, there you go. So you have a whole bunch of options in here. Of course, I'm sure that more are going to be compiled eventually. Well, that's once the fun thing updates. about this project because this has really just kind of hit the scene. And I'd say that a lot of it has already been fleshed out as far yeah. as, you know, getting it to just work. So getting more modulations in there uh, or demodulations in there, I should say, so that we can actually hear some of the stuff going on. This is going to be really exciting. It's so very exciting. If you have a Hack RF, this is definitely an app to check out. The other thing I wanted to mention before we end this segment is also if you are a pilot, and I know there's a few of you guys out there, Avair, that software that I showed off a few weeks ago, I think, um, it now uses the Hacker F. So you can hop onto Avair, which is free in the Google Play Store, and you can use the Hacker F with it. Now, of course, we aren't pilots. 
So it yet. doesn't really do anything on yeah. ours, but <laughs> there you go. <laughs> One of these An update, days. yay. <laughs> Maybe it'll start with LSA, I don't know. That would be cool. Hey, let me know. Um, yes, that sounds awesome. Well, feedback at hack5.org, of course, is where you can let us know what you think of these uh, things like this. Uh, don't bother telling us about the echo. We already know. Yeah, we know. <laughs> and with that, we'll be right back. It doesn't matter if you're a fan of echo or reverb. When you have that awesome idea like, let's make this room not echo, you need to get yourself a domain name to tell the world about how terrible the echo is in this room. And guess what? You can go over to domain.com. They've got a domain discovery system that's gonna help you find just the perfect domain name to tell everybody about the horrible echo in this room. And you're gonna have your website up and running in no time at all. I love domain.com because they're affordable, they're reliable, they're easy to use, and they are awesome on social media. You can see what I'm talking about. Tweet them at domain.com and see why they are just a fun place to do business. And they are huge fans of Hack5, so they wanna hook you guys up. Get this, use the coupon code HAK5 at checkout. That spells Hack5 you're gonna get 15% off. So when you think domain names, think domain.com. Dot com, dot com, dot com. It's time for the trivia question of the week. Hopefully it's not too loud in here for you guys, but let's go ahead and move on. So last week's trivia question was, who was the first space tourist? And the answer is Dennis Tito. This week's trivia question is, which planet in our solar system is known to orbit the sun the fastest? It might not be what you assume it is. Answer that over at hack5.org slash trivia for your chance to win some awesome Hack 5 goodies. Well, that just about wraps up this week's episode of Hack 5. Thank you for bearing through the um, echoiness. We <laughs> yeah. have a whole ton of sound dampening baffles and so many other things being installed. This is, I, I'm just in awe of like the I'm progression really of excited. this. I actually don't believe it. We've, I'm kind of waiting for someone to pinch me. We've grown so much. I am terrified. <laughs> but then yeah. again, I was terrified when we moved into the, uh, the firehouse. Yeah. And I was terrified when we moved into Dave's garage and I motorcycled across the country Why were you to do terrified? that. And I was terrified when I bought the hack house. So yeah. <laughs> I don't know, because change is scary, you know? And like, what if it all fails? And I have to remember that we're in America. It's not you gonna can't fail. fail. No, I'm joking. We're too big to fail, no. I just, I don't know, I, I, that's my filter. I'm always afraid that it's all gonna come crashing down. But I think that that's everybody's, or not everybody's. I, so. Hi, welcome to Hack 5. I'm Aww. Darren Kitchen, and I have a bit of <laughs> You've done awesome. You've grown this show so much, and you've grown the Hack Shop amazingly, so I don't think you yes, have anything to worry about. We're very excited about that. That's where you can support this directly. I can't wait for the amazing stuff that we're going to be able to do but on both sides of that. The kinds of projects that we can build here and the kinds of cool new kits that we can build for the Hack Shop Ooh, yes. will be really fun. Looking it's be so much fun. Looking forward to, of course, your feedback. Feedback at hack5.org, as always, and you can find ways to follow us at hack5.org slash follow us. That's right. Slash follow. I think that was all us. of them. Yes, that is. So thank you so much. Um, until next week, I'm Darren Kitchen. I'm Shannon Morse. Trust your technolust. Echo! Yay! Echo! Yay! Echo! Bye-bye. Oh, ah! I get it off me. I got Shannon. I've got a growth. It, ah, it's, it's coming out. Yeah. 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 What? Come on. You have to. There's. Blooper Town. I have to use. I have to use two fingers. Oh wait, no, I can get him. I can get him. Hey there, little construction guy. Got you. I got you. I got you. Got you. Put up my drywall. Come on, put up my drywall. Hey everybody, welcome to the show. We don't have a proper set yet. Yeah. Like my song. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.